the bishop g2 all right you guys we are back i just need to get my get my hot coffee going let's um castle okay i'll play like b5 probably okay b6 knight f1 thank you uncle tan for the 100 bits the chair is going deep into deep into the tank on this one indeed play bishop f4 probably h5 h6 is coming or a3 maybe be friends why can't we be friends Go knight h2 uh i guess just bishop d2 the cup proves that it was not a bomb cloud break ha 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 very funny actually i wonder is that against tos i assume you can't do that but is that against tos because i wouldn't be shocked if some of the gamers actually would do that on stream if it wasn't uh illegal I mean, I'm guessing it's against TOS, but I, I don't know for sure. Let's just play knight g5. Takes. I've got knight e6, maybe. Knight c7. This looks winning. Just takes. Knight f2, knight c7, knight d1, and then I take, take, and then I win. Knight e5. Oh, he's got knight e3. Oh, shoot. Ah. Uh. Oh. Uh, okay, whatever. Let's just take, take, take. I'm gonna be up a pawn. Way down on the clock still, but yeah. Either I drank too much, or the, or the, or the, or this board gets blurry. The board gets blurry. I don't know about the board. I thought you were gonna say my beard. Are you Hikaru's younger brother? Very, very funny, Stavanos. Very, very funny. You guys are very funny. You guys are on a roll today. <laughs> you guys are on a roll. Uh, am I Hikaru's younger brother? That that is that is just classic. That's really really classic. Okay. Now think. Oh, but he's caught rook f two. Oh shoot. Wow. But I still go h three. So h pawn is very very dangerous here. Is this a replay from ten years ago? You guys are killing. Wait. I just take. Oh, is this here? Oh man, it's such an annoying end game to have to play. I don't know if it's winning, so I can't, I mean, I don't have time to calculate it, unfortunately, as much as I want to. I I think it's probably winning, but it's it's very, very hard to calculate. Maybe not, though. Who knows? Okay. I guess let's just go G4. Actually, I'm, I forgot. I, I lost all this time at the start of the game, so I really do need to move fast. Um, let's just King G2. Check. A5. If takes, I just take. There's rook g8. G3, maybe. Rook f8. H2, try to win the pawn. King f4 is coming. So king f4. Um, I guess I'll play c4 to box as king so that I always have a check here. Make a check of g5. I just play b3. G6. Now he can't take some g7 and it's game over. Checkmate. All right, another game. Let's uh, next game coming up. Shavash Badalian, a strong player, twenty four twenty nine. Okay, so it's starting to get a little bit serious now. Let's play C five. Um, let's just play Knight C six here, I guess. Oh, he's got B five. Whoops. Okay, so takes. Speaking of tequila, are any grandmasters just as great when a little tipsy? Not, not really. It's pretty universal that if you're drinking, your chest goes way down. Um, so what did I just do to this position? Oh shoot, I just ruined my position. Um, 
Uh, guess I'll play bishop at five e six. This is pretty ugly. Pretty ugly position this game. Yeah, I mean, if you have a little, generally your play doesn't fall off. But if you drink quite a bit, your play falls off very quickly. Got Queen H2 coming. Just gonna start trying to attack him on the king side if I can. Go home. Who says you can't go home? Bishop c3 is a great move. I'm gonna have to get really aggressive here with like bishop g7 and attack. Maybe queen b6 to take, but this is actually kind of gross. <sighs> Probably bishop g7 at some point, like maybe right here. Put pressure on the pawn on, uh, on e5. I guess rook h4, pressure on the c4 pawn, g4 is coming as well. Go g4, if takes, I just take with the rook. Uh, I've got knight c4. I've also got rook h3. Wait a second. What's going on here? I've also got bishop h6. Um, wait, so if I take and play rook h3, king g2. Wait a second. Guess I'll go rook h5 here. I'm way up on the clock, which is important. Okay, d4 is a good move, I guess. If I okay, think, think, think. Take queen c seven maybe. I have to sack something probably. Okay, take because now he hangs the knight and he doesn't have rook c one at the end. Man, this guy's playing very, very well, though. This is dangerous. Um, okay, how do I do this? Rook h3, knight c4. Okay, I'm going to have to just move. I'm probably going to have to sack a piece at some point. The point is, where do I sack exactly? This is dangerous. This is very, very dangerous. But now I have rook h3. I've got like rook a h8 coming as well. Who takes? So I obviously take with the queen. I've got rook h8 still for the mate ideas. Okay, c6. I guess I just take and queen c6. I don't quite see. I don't see the mate. Okay, king c8, of course, not king e8, because then there's like knight c5 and queen a3 and rook b7. Rook h8 is still a threat. Rook h1 is checkmate. So this is very, very dangerous, but I think I'm winning. Carlton said the Alpha Zero games have changed the style. Advantage to know if the card feels the same. I mean, I think if you get in certain openings, it definitely holds true. Now I go queen d5 and made him on h1. Um, Dragonitsky says incredible. What's up, Dr. Dragonitsky? Okay, next game. Um, Dr. Dragon Dragonitsky said incredible. I just wasn't sure what uh, Daniel was referring to when he said incredible. 
I don't know if he's referring to me swindling this guy. Um, thank you, Eman Three Get for the uh, for the two month resub with Twitch Prime. Thank you so much. Play Night C Three. We're over twenty four hundred. Probably probably not gonna make this a super super long stream, but but I'll definitely go try to get to two hundred wins. That's that's gonna be the that's gonna be the benchmark that we're aiming for today. Win forty eight more games. That's the benchmark. Play um, I don't know D four or Night Four or something. Oh, he's referring to my shade. Oh, incredible. Okay. I thought it maybe was referring to my exquisite and beautiful hair, maybe. But anyway, um. Thank you, Memphis242, for the uh, sub with Twitch Prime. Let's just go Bishop D3, Bishop D2. Well, well, the shave too, but primarily the game, yeah. That was a, that was a classic uh, swindle from a very, very ridiculously, like, more than completely lost position. Uh, do I want to play e5? No, I guess I'll go bishop d2. Queen b6, there's knight a4. If he goes here, I'll probably play e5 and knight e4, knight g5. Seems reasonable at any rate. Froby says, I didn't know Hikaru had a son. Very funny. Yes, I am Hikaru's son. My name is Hiro. My name is Hiro Nakamura. Oh, Dragonitsky says, all is good. Graduation tomorrow. I didn't actually know that. Uh, congrats, congrats. Um... Uh, who's who's the keynote? I wonder, because Stanford always gets uh, Stanford always gets some good speakers at the graduations. Um, probably somebody pretty pretty uh, famous, I'm guessing. But congrats nonetheless. Okay, ninety four night of six. I mean, ninety four is begging to be played. Oh, I've got actually okay, ninety five. Yeah, why not? Um, free pawn. It's Tim Cook, Apple CEO, surprising, super surprising. Oh, really? Okay. That, that somehow, I mean, when Steve Jobs spoke at Stanford, that was, that's a pretty legendary, uh, legendary graduation speech that he gave uh, back in 2004, I think it was, if I remember correctly, which was pretty amazing. Um, BLB Chess Match says, congrats, Dr. Dragonitsky. I recently finished and Tim Cook spoke at ours too. Oh, so Tim Apple is suddenly speaking at all these graduations. Huh. Okay, let's just play F6 and Queen G5. I mean, he's, he's Tim Apple is not exactly Steve Jobs, but uh, Tim Apple is still still pretty uh, pretty famous fam famous guy as well. He'll be pushing the new 999 monitor stand. Yeah. Yep. Tim Apple, everybody. Tim Apple. Play H4. Um. All right, let's, uh, let's go again. Okay, let's... 47, let's play d5, knight, of 6 e6. Maybe just c5 here. To be honest, I would have preferred Trebek. Yeah, Al but isn't Trebek, isn't, doesn't he have... Isn't he, like, having to go through chemo and stuff? I thought he actually was in a really bad way right now. Um, like, I, I thought that... Um, oh, geez, did I just... I think I just blundered. I think he could have take, takes, 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 and he had some queen c2. Um, but yeah, I think he's got like cancer and he's in, in really, really bad shape. So um, I, I think I, it's one of the bad cancers too that he's like dealing with. It's not one of the, it's not one of the good ones. It's one of the ones which uh, is really, really bad. I think. Um, yeah, yeah, it's pancreatic. Jeez, yeah. I know somebody who lost a lost a father to that. I know uh, what. I also have, I also, because I follow biotech stocks, there are some stocks that try to do stuff. And pancreatic cancer is one of those, one of those areas where there is just nothing at all. Like it's just a graveyard. A lot of companies have tried to come up with, with, uh, with drugs and, and some sort of cure, something that at least prolong people's lives. But, um, but yeah, pancreatic cancer is just a really bad one. I would say out of the things that, 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 that companies, the biotechs are trying to do stuff for, the two worst ones by a big margin are pancreatic cancer and um, pancreatic cancer and uh, and uh, Alzheimer's. Like, there's been nothing and there's nothing really that has prolonged lives with uh, pancreatic cancer, and there's been nothing with Alzheimer's that has even that has there's nothing that has happened with Alzheimer's in the last 20 years. So, um, yeah, that's Alzheimer's and Alzheimer's and pan pancreatic cancer are two of the absolute worst things out there right now. Just no, no, uh, no solutions. Yeah, Trebek has uh, has uh, pancreatic cancer, which just uh, 
Cancer in, in and of itself is just terrible, but um, yeah, but when you get one of these really, really bad ones, it's just, I mean, really, really sad. Uh, but maybe maybe he'll be okay. Maybe he's in that like five to 10% that are gonna survive. It was caught early enough. Uh, just play, let's see, does he want some sack in rook d7? I don't understand rook, eight, rook d1. Um, okay, now I have bishop c4, but I'm gonna get cheeky with queen f5, try to play bishop c4 and win the pawn. Who is Alex Trebek? Alex Trebek is the one and only, the pride of Canada, uh, the host of the game show, uh, game show Jeopardy. He's not, he's not American. Alex Trebek is Canada. He's from Canada. He's from Canada. Let's play queen f3. I've got rook d2 here. I've got a5. Um, why don't I just push pawn? Just push pawn. Oh, this was his idea to go queen c4. Ah, okay, that's logical. Um, I'm pretty sure Alex Trebek was, he was not on Star Trek, was he? Go a4, rook a7, rook a8 is my idea. Um, well, this is actually getting a little bit iffy here. Hmm. Maybe I'll play rook b8. Wait, how am I down 30 seconds on the clock? I didn't even notice that I'm down 30 seconds. Um, okay, queen c2, so... I guess I play g6 check. Okay, but I still have like king g7 and queen c3, I believe. So I've got queen c3 here. Queen f6 loses to rook g8, by the way, you guys, so that's why I go queen c3. Throw in a check. Throw in a check. Throw in a check. Throw in a check. Oh, I miss. I yeah yeah. I misplayed the order because now he gets rook h8. Oh shoot. Oh oh. I misplayed this badly. I misplayed the order here, and I'm way down on the clock. Oh, this is just lovely. Um. Uh, maybe I can play rook c1. Or rook g1. No no. I guess. So. Hope that I'm not getting mated here. He's got queen d8, I've got king f5, g4, king f4. I might be getting checkmated here. This might be the first uh, mishap of the day. Because check, king C d5, check, queen e4, g4, king. He's got check, king f3. What's going on here? Check, check. Oh, he had queen d3. I thought he had to go queen d2. Oh, I misplayed this. Wait, no, I've got king g1, king h1. Oh, he had rookie. Oh, he's got rookie one. Oh, he's got rookie one. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I blundered. This game, I just blundered. I just blundered this game. Yeah, this one, I just blundered. Okay, that's the first loss. Yeah, I mean, I, sh I should have played queen f6 anyway because the checks were too obvious for him. Checks were too obvious. Okay, so, wait, what? He played, oh, he played rook c1, okay. Well, I'm just gonna let the time run out anyway. No, I should not have, what I should have done is I should have just played queen f6 and if he played rook h8, I make the draw. But I, for some reason, I missed a g4 check. I I, I thought queen d3, king f4, um, but it, it's all losing anyway. So, all right, happens from time to time, just play a bad game. Uh, but it, the main thing that caused that was I was way down on the clock. Uh, if I wasn't way down on the clock, I would not have lost that, but I was way down on the clock, so I just got careless. Um, for one move. So it's castles. Uh, adopt someone in the stream, no need for that, no need. Uh, let's play knight d7, h6, probably g5 here. Um, knight g6 and f5. As you can see, this is not Hikaru, this is obviously his son playing today, that's why that last game happened. Um, oh, let's just go e5, f5, maybe knight f4. <clears throat> go knight f6, bishop c8. Six, maybe seven. Yeah, this, this game's not good either. This game's pretty bad too. Um, Ninety-seven. Uh, 
Uh, because Tay can play, I guess. I'll play C6, both B5 and C6 are playable. Maybe H5 at some point as well. Um, it takes, I'll probably play H, yeah, I'll go H5 here. Thank you, Bridgeweb, for the five month resub. Thank you. Who sets the K factor? I mean, they set the K factor at like 10 or something, which I think is wrong personally, but I, I guess they've done that for all the speed runs. Not that I think it's correct, but that's apparently how they do it. Uh, I think it's wrong to do that because the K factor should be like 40 if you're if you're 1200. Um, so I don't actually understand why for the speed rushes apparently it's it's set so low because it feels like I mean I don't it has nothing to do with whether I'm 2800 or 2700 whatever I am over 2500. Um, but it feels like the K factor should be what it sh would be if you're 1200 versus your current rating. So it seems a little bit weird to me that they. Uh, that um that apparently for speed runs the k factor is set way down as though you're like 2500 because that seems wrong to me um just fundamentally but apparently that's how they do it for speed runs uh going on this game i'll just put c8 and queen f3 i guess play queen f3 now I think they're two mate threats, so takes. Okay. Um so G Oh my oh my gosh, I blundered knight g5. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? I just blunt oh oh my Queen H7 was game over. Oh my gosh. I'm sure right right about now Dan is watching Dan is watching is cursing that I'm not on my main account so I was playing the way I'm playing right now on my main account Daniel would uh Daniel would be probably he'd, he'd be he'd be he'd be licking his chops he'd really want to play me right now because I'm not playing good chess at the moment um let's go bishop d3 castles that was actually thank you Arnie HCFC for the six months that was actually significantly worse than the game that I lost right before that that th this last one was significantly worse um, significantly worse. Um, okay, so d5, let's play e5. Okay, I think that's just a free pawn, so I'll take it. Just take and castle. Beard shaved, minus 500 elo, indeed. Rack of lamb with a, <laughs> a rack of lamb with a 3200 side, yeah. Well, yeah, because I dropped like 50 points in Arena Kings yesterday also, because I played like a complete moron. I'm not sure if Danny actually saw that, but I played some really bad chess in Arena Kings yesterday, like really bad chess. Um, okay, so let's go C4, hit the queen. This should be three next move. I draw, I went from 3250, like five games into 3200. I played a ridiculous bishop takes C7 blunder that put me completely on tilt um, against like a 2400 where I was up like three pieces, but I just, I'm like, okay, I win with any move. I play bishop takes C7 and there's a back ranker mate. I won Arena Kings anyway, but it was not not it was not one of my better performances. That goes without saying. Older Hikaru won, yes. Older Hikaru won the game, indeed, indeed. Bishop takes c7, yes. I, somebody's gonna probably meme that. I'm, I'm betting. Uh, that says more than the rating ro rating loss. Yeah, yeah. Bishop takes c7 was so bad. Someone, I'm sure that was clipped, but Bishop takes c7 was just ridiculous. That just like totally tilted me. And then I had to play Dobrov in the next game and I lost in like 10 moves. And then I lost another like 2600 later on in the event because I decided to get, get creative and sack my queen for two pieces for no particular reason. Um, let's go rookie one, e6, d7. Oh, but I just gave him queen d6 and now He's got queen d6 and he activates the bishop. Very stupid, but he doesn't see it. So I'll play rook e5 here. Uh, probably knight d4 next move. Let's go e7 here. Oh, queen c6 is just winning. Forgot the knight was supporting the rook. Let's have some fun, he said. Yes, thank you for the reminder. I really need to be reminded of exactly what I said when I sacked my queen. Yeah, it's two pieces for a queen. Let's have some fun. And then I lose and I, I practically pulled a Dania. That's, I, I generally don't tilt like that, but I almost pulled a Dania yesterday during Arena Kings. I, I picked up the mouse and I was like, ugh, like ugh, ugh. At least I didn't slam my mouse. I was half tempted to slam it, but I didn't actually do it. 
Let's go Rookout 7. Um, yeah, I almost slammed my mouse yesterday. I was very close to slamming my mouse. Um, okay, what is... Um, I guess the H4, H5. The H5. Hmm. I guess Queen E5 and Knight F5 should be good enough here, maybe? Anything should be good enough, but... Queen Knight F5. Threaten mate of takes, just rook f5. Queen f5 is probably winning too, but rook f5 looks simpler. King h2. Okay, now I think I just sidestep rook g3, rook g7. Oh, he's got queen g5. Oh. Huh. He misses it though. So I'll go rook g3. How's it going, David Chess 2001? Hope you're having a good afternoon, Manu. Um, let's play with G3. This is going to be a win as well. So we're going to be up to 155. Rookie 7. Play King H2. Okay. Next game. Play E4, Knight C3 here. Probably F4 and D4 at some point. Knight F3 and Knight E4. Play h3 and queen f3. Remove all the trades. Another 2400 Russian, yes. Yes. Ch Chetsy Spaghetti says the anger on your face almost broke the mouse anyway. That's that's good to see. I'm glad to see that everyone saw just how angry I was. Um, I did add the loss of chart. Wait, I've got e5 here. Maybe e5, e6? Looks a little bit weird. I don't know if it's good, but I'm going to do it. Um, I did add the loss, you guys. Play Bishop G2. Castles. Again, you guys, we're not going to talk about that one random. Um, uh, let's just castle and play rookie one. I want to go queen e4, but then he's going to be able to castle at some point. So I don't want to let him castle here. So let's play rookie one. Some anger, but mostly disgust. Play d3, knight d2. One thirty a.m. in India. Yes. Yeah, I was pretty disgusted with all of yesterday. Um, all, all of Arena Kings was pretty gross. I'm gonna play Knight A3 maybe, so that I've got du double squares. D2 made sense too for E4. I trust. For some reason, I think the Knight's better on C4 than E4, but I could be insane. That's why I'm going this way. Let's play Queen E2. Hit the pawn on E6. Will I ever bring a guest on stream? Maybe it's possible that I'll do a stream with Levy again, or maybe maybe I'll do a stream with like XQC or somebody. Who knows? Uh, I've got Knight B5. Maybe oh, he still got Queen C6 and takes Queen B5. Maybe I've got C4, takes Knight C3. That's pro everything's probably good here. The question is which one do I want to go for? Uh, let's just play A4 for now. K Brown says, "Do you mean Ninja?" Very funny. Very funny. No, I mean, Ninja's too, like, Ninja's too, Ninja's not, like, Ninja doesn't have fun. He's all about, like, the business side. So, like, even trying to get in, get in touch or do something would just be insane, insanely hard with Ninja. He's all about, like, the business side. He doesn't just do things for fun. So, I'll just take with the pawn. Uh, if A6, I think I'm going to play C4. If takes, I just take, hit the queen, then I hit the rook. If I take, hit the queen, hit the rook. Still hitting the knight. Everything's collapsing here for black. Earphones are un oh the earphones are untangled. Did I really do a good job? They're kind of untangled. They're 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 still they're still you know you still you still can see they're still kind of tangled down below. But they've but they've come a little bit untangled. So I mean I I'm not using the clip right now, but yeah yeah I had them I was trying to untangle them. I was using the clip earlier to really try and detangle them. I don't know if detangle is a word, but yeah. Tiger will come on stream once he's done with the US Open. That's, yeah. That would cost a lot of moolah. Moolah, moolah, moolah. Uh, let's play rook one rook Yeah, I want to do Dota with, um, I want to do Dota with, uh, with Wagamon, but somehow it never happened, and I haven't really had the chance to talk to him lately, so. Uh, yeah, I don't know, I don't know why, but it's just not happened. Maybe, maybe, um, I, maybe I'll try to, do, I'm wondering about if I should do an auto chess stream with, uh, with Byron, that's the other thing that I'm wondering if I should do, just do um do uh do um do uh do auto chess with Byron. That, that, I'm wondering if I should see if Byron's game for that or not. Byron, of course, being Byron Bernstein, also known as Rockful. 
Uh, I think he is, is he streaming? He's streaming auto chess right now, I think. Yeah, woke up at midnight again, never stops. He was like playing Tetris actually at like 2 a.m. last night, I think. I saw him playing playing Tetris 99 at 2 a.m. Stock analysis with Byron, that'd be funny. Oh, I, I didn't count that one, did I? So I'll, I'll make, let's pin out a six. Um, text up, uh, that's another win. Okay, let's just play C5, knight C6. Play queen B6 here, I guess. Okay, B3, I'll play bishop G4 and E6. Um, I guess I'll take, because if he takes, I feel like there's going to be some knight B4, some queen A5s. It feels a little bit iffy. Play E6. Play bishop E7. Just castles, bishop H5, G6. Just try to exchange bishops. Maybe rook C8 first was more precise. Play for knight B4 with threats against the uh, queen and the bishop. But bishop h5, bishop g6 is fine. Okay, let's just go rook c8. Okay, maybe, hmm. Guess I'll play bishop g6. Don't know if it's fast, but I'll do it. Uh, play the London system, and no, it's a bad opening. No, thank you. London, <coughs> the London opening is what you play when you're just, when you're lazy. If you're lazy and you don't want to study like a certain chess bra, you play the London every game. But, but it's not really chess. It's a, it's a way of being lazy and trying to create a shortcut to avoid um, having to study like a man. Okay, let's just play, uh, I'm gonna sack a pawn here. I'm not too concerned. His pawns are advanced, so I'm not too concerned. Um, actually, it's not a sack, so I have bishop h2, as I just realized with queen c7. Let's just take bishop h2. Remember when you played the London for someone's birthday? Yes, and I com I completely lost and went on a tilt streak. I, I have not forgotten that. Um, but yeah, London is what you London's what you play when you're when you're lazy and you, you just you don't have it in you to study chess like a man. That's basically why you play London. Um, oh whoa, chess bay is here too. Wow, good to see chess bay in the chat, in the house. Time not to get checkmated on the H file as well. It's important not to do that. But yeah, I mean, you, you play, uh, you play, you play the, um, you play the London, you play London when you're, you're just when you're lazy. You know, I would use a different word, but I feel like if I use another word, this is a family-friendly stream, so it'd be bad to, uh, to say it. But there's another word. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? Oh geez. Oh, that's just, that's just bloody brilliant. I just blundered like a complete moron. Um, okay, now I'm gonna have to now I'm gonna have to grind this. This isn't gonna be easy now. But yeah, there's another word I was gonna use, but but yeah. Play knight b5, hit the queen knight c3 next move, queen b7. Okay, now I get d4, now I pawn at least on a good score. Well, but knight c3, queen d4, but actually I can just check and keep queens on the board, so it should be fine. It's not the R word, you guys. I'm thinking a different word. <laughs> But that would be too insulting to uh, Mon. But yeah, the London system, I mean, really, you play the London system if you're like, that's a nice try actually by this guy to um, to win the Rook. But after Queen B7, it's a check. The Queen supports the Rook. I'm also hitting B4 too, so it's pretty good. No, I was not, I, it was not the R word that I was thinking of, you guys. I was thinking of a different word that starts with a B. And it's not that wordy. It's not the, the obvious B word either. So, okay, so takes, I've got D3. Um, how do I win this? What is going on? This is just not easy. Okay, let's play d3. Queen d4. Okay, I... I guess... No, g5 is no good, so I should play a6 here, I think. Oh, but now he takes with the queen and a6 is hanging. He plays a3, so he doesn't see it. So he's trying to play for queen d3. I'm just gonna have to cheese him on the clock now. So let's 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 go for the cheese. Time to cheese him. Okay, let's just play g6. My queen f3. 
Yeah, I've got a cheese on the clock now. It's time for the for the time cheese. Play works through three takes. Probably rook b3 now. He blunder. Oh, he's got a5, a6. <sighs> uh, but I'm in time, right? b4, b3, b2, I'm in time. Yeah, I'm in time, so I can just flag him safely here. Play b2, rook a7. Like rook e7, cut the king. He's just got no time, so it's gonna be another win. All right, next game. Play e4, or, okay, e3, c4, knight, c3. Anyway, you guys, yeah, but I mean, it's just like, that's what Amon does. Amon plays London every, every game, and it's like, I mean, have some pride, man. Study some chess, you're a GM. Like, play a real opening. Um, let's go queen c2. Like, I'll give you an example, you guys. So, like, Daniel's a good example. So, when you watch Daniel play online, he'll play London or play the Verisov. But in real games, Daniel doesn't play the London. Daniel plays like a man in real games of chess. That's, like, the perfect example. You don't see, you, you don't see Daniel playing this kind of, this kind of weird stuff. Daniel's a man. He goes, he studies chess, and he plays real openings. Um... Play bishop d2 and just take. Um, thank you, my name is CJX for a tier 1 sub. Uh, let's play bishop e2 and castles. Play b4 and takes. Just castle. Um... Play knight a4 here, hit the bishop, knight c5 next move is coming. Um, okay, let's just go knight c5. Why do you hate the London? Just play like a man. That's that's pretty much the moral of the story. Play like a man, die like a dog. Um, actually, isn't that... Someone said that, actually. Some guy in Boston, I think that was Jorge Zamora or somebody, he said that during the Pro Chess League. Like, he, he came up with that quote. It's like... Play like a man, die like a dog. Not that I understand what it's supposed to mean, but I think that's what he uh, he came up with. Um, let's just take and play like queen a4 maybe. Play queen a4. Um, I guess I'll play queen a5, keep pressure on the pawn so he can't move the knight. The knight's kind of tied down here to a6. Now e4 is really, really good. Um, I guess I have d4 maybe. Let's play bishop. No, let's just play h3 here. If knight c6, just queen b6 is fine. I just don't want him getting bishop g4 and trading this knight. Because this knight, it's important that I have a knight... Covering the square, so. So, rookie eight. Maybe I can play d4 here. Bishop c3 looks good too, but pressure on the pawn and e5 as well. So, what about Kamsky, Gata, lazy? I mean, Gata, but Gata is a little lazy. Gata is a tremendous player. There are few players in the world who play, who are as naturally talented as Gata. But I mean, he does, he is a little bit lazy at times these days. So like, he's not, he's not Amon, mind you. Amon, for example, I think should be taking chess much more seriously than Gata. But um, for whatever reason, he isn't. So let's just play a4 here. Okay, I've got d4, but a5 looks good. Just ISO the pawns, keep everything fixed here. Um, maybe I can go d4, knight d4, trade. 
Maybe I can go d4. Ah, uh, let's just do it. Who cares? Let's just go for it. Okay, I've got... Well, no, I don't have rook c8 because there's knight e2. So I have to trade here first. Okay, so I take... Take and I go b7. This is my idea. Whether it works or not, who knows. Um... I think I, I think I'm allowed to throw shots at a at Amon. Um, let's just take the pawn on B4. Considering what considering what Amon and uh, Eric, are, the way they're always talking about me in their stream, like I, I have no no qualms uh, grossing them. Play Bishop D3. Idea to play E5. Okay, now I, I'll definitely throw an E5 check. Play E6. Uh, do I have other moves like rook c7 maybe? He wants f3 and bishop d5. Uh, I like rook Oh my gosh, he's got knight d7. What are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, this is going to be hard to win. Um... Uh, I'm in trouble in this game. Oh, that's just great. Now, Bishop F1. Oh, Bishop F1 doesn't even work. Oh, my gosh. Oh, and I, wait. Why am I down on time again? Why am I always down on time in every game? This is crazy. Somehow, I'm, look, I'm looking. It looks fine. And next thing I know, I'm down like 20 seconds. Crazy. Um, yeah, let's play like uh, six. Yeah, some, somehow, I'm always down on the clock today. Why am I always down on the clock? How am I always down on the clock today? I don't. I just. I don't understand how I'm always down on the clock. It's just crazy. Oh. I see three. Thank you, Aviation, for the tier one sub. Whew. Twitch chat too interesting. Yeah, I, all the games that I'm getting in trouble today, I'm, I, I don't look, and the next thing I know, I'm down like 30 seconds. Oof. That was scary. That was legit scary. I was very afraid there for a little bit. Let's castle. Um, not even close. No, no, that was close. That was close. Um, 94. Okay, I'll just take and play 92. Um, yeah, that, that was dangerous. You did not win that game like a man. That's a good one. Let's play knight f4. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Let's go queen g4. Um, just play bishop d2. I don't want him to get knight a5. I want this bishop to stay active on the diagonal. Okay, so e5 is a quasi threat. I'm going to pretend that I don't care. I'm just going to be like, oops, I blundered and hope he plays e5. He probably won't, though. He probably won't play. Uh, okay, he does play it. Okay, so let's take and take. Oh, he just resigns. Okay, fair enough. Okay, that's another one. Up to 159. Okay, let's go again. No, but I mean, the difference, though, between, like, Amon and all these other guys, though, is that these other guys, they don't play London over the board. Like, if you play the London online, nobody cares. It's just Blitz. All, it's all fun and games until someone's eye gets poked out. But, I mean, when you're playing a real tournament and you play London every game, that's just, like, really, really cheesy. Not not even Gata does that every game. And, and Gata is much more of a specialist than Amon is. Um, so, Knight D7 with Knight C5 and Knight A6. Go, uh, guess I'll play f5 here. Like, God, I loves London, but you don't see God playing the London every game. Uh, look, you guys, I'm playing the King's Indian. I'm playing like a man. 
I'm playing like a man right now. Let's play, uh, even though I've got a terrible version of the King's Indian. Um, yeah, tonight B6. Eric Rosen, uh, Eric Rosen doesn't play it every game, does he? Does Eric Rosen play the... A man is not a man. Very funny. And a man is not a man. What you say? What you saying, Willis? What you talking about? Um, play like a man. Cheese the time like a boy. That's an interesting thing. That's an interesting thing. Play like a man. Cheese the time like a boy. I don't really understand it, but it sounds funny. So it sounds good. Play like a cheese. Die like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys don't make don't don't make me like don't make me like die of laughter. Okay, I think now I will take so that he can't take and like activate the B file. Now that we're on B1 looks kind of stupid. Let's go knight f4. Uh, I mean, if, if you're 2000, I have no issue. If you're 2000, by all means, play it absolutely. But if you're a grandmaster, like have some pride, play a real opening, study some chess. Um, okay, I can take... Yeah, let's just sauce him on the on the king side. Let's play as like a true king's Indian. Let's just sauce him. I'm just gonna sauce him on the king side here with h5 and g4. Yeah, the rook on b1 looks stupid. Also, there's no c5 because I just take the knight. Ro yeah, Eric Rosen is a very nice guy, you guys. Let's let's relax. Let's be nice about Eric. Eric, um, Eric is a very nice guy. Let's let's seriously chill chill out. Okay, I've got rook f6, rook g6. He wants to go c5, c6. I'm gonna play b6 because he can't play rook a once he hangs the pawn. Um, and I'm gonna trust that these extra tempi here on the king side are gonna matter here. He's trying to play rook a1, which makes a lot of sense. Um, now the question is, is do I have tricky tricks here like h5 and g4? A little bit iffy. Let's play, um, kind of gross, actually. Can't play knight b8. I can't play c5. Um, let's just go for it with g4. If takes, I'm just going to play queen g6 and h5. Plays rook a1 anyway. Oh, shoot. He can just do it anyway. Ugh. Yeah, I'm going to have to sack some material, probably. How do I sack material here is the question. I guess let's take. No, I'm in bad shape in this game. I'm actually legitimately in bad shape this game. Okay, we should be seven. Threatening the B4 pawn at least. Um, let's Go king h7, rook g8. I've got to move fast here because this game I'm I'm positionally in a lot of trouble here. This game I am in some deep, deep something. Um, so like rook g8, I guess. But he is very slow. That's the one good thing. He's moving very, very slowly here. Knight b5 doesn't really concern me. Queen g6 hit the pawn. Still no tricks really. Knight c7. Um. I've got rook g8 coming. So that's just, uh, yeah, whatever. Let's just go for it. Nobody cares about c6, just push c8. It takes, so I will take. Oh, I hung the knight. Whoop. Oh, but eh, it's not so trivial. Maybe like queen d3. Got queen f1 hitting the rook. Very, very tricky. Okay, so I just take. And, um,. I'll just take the rook. Queen h8. No, queen f1, bishop g1, queen f3, queen g2 is not mate in one. Sorry, folks. You are mistaken. Let's make a check, rook g8. However, here there's just mate in one on g2. You guys are mistaken. Um, let me move this out of the way. Um, you're mistaken because here, after queen f3, king g1, check, king f1, there's no mate. Check, king e2. Queen d3, queen e2. If I check, there's bishop g1. If queen f3, there's queen g2. If I play rook g8, there's queen b1 check, forcing a trade of the queens. So there was no mate in one. Sorry, folks, no mate in one. All right, next game.
Oh, look, somebody has a Magnus picture. That's hilarious. They've got a Magnus picture as their, as their icon. Just play C5. Play the Jinji Hashavili Indian opening. He doesn't want it, so Knight C6. E3, I'll just play Knight F6. Maybe B6, Bishop B7 is playable. It's all pretty, pretty, pretty standard boilerplate. G3 is a little bit unusual here. So I'm going to take on D4 and play D5. Ukrainian Magnus, Magnus from the Ukraine, indeed, indeed. Okay, C5, that's ballsy, let's castle. It's very, very ballsy, let's go B6. Why didn't I upload the bullet speed run today? Um, the bullet speed run will be up, you guys, just uh, relax. Take a deep break, and, or take, take a deep breath, not a deep break. Okay, I'm gonna sack a pawn, if he wants to take, he, he can take. I'm going to argue I've got a much better pawn structure here. I can play like bishop a6, hit the rook, play like rook c8, knight e4. Actually, knight e4 here maybe? Looks interesting. I don't know if it actually works. Just go knight d7, support the square in case he tries knight a4. Now he also doesn't get to put the bishop on the diag like he wants. Like here, white would like the bishop on b2 or a3, but he can't do it. He has to put it on the wrong diagonal, so now I'm good. Knight covers c5 when he tries to bring the knight in, so I'm doing very well here. Play bishop b5. Okay, let's take. Uh, let's go rook e8. We're, get, we're getting into the structure where we're getting a 3v3. So I'm going to get two central pawns here. I go e5. He's trying to create pass pawns on the queen side. He's got a three on one here. Um, so we have an odd man rush, essentially. I've got the two connected centers. He's got the two pawns on the outside. So we're going to have an odd man rush here. Um, and whoever's quicker will probably win. go d4 and takes so my pawns are objectively better than his pawns i think right now i can go e4 because if he takes i just go rook d8 so it's 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 a complete odd man rush we're having a 3v1 on the queen side i've got the 3v1 here in the center um so i've got the connect five though it should be stronger than the connect three so uh very very tricky wait what wait what rook c4 queen d5 he just drops a piece because he can't, he's overloaded. Everything's just overloaded here. The beard was better. The beard was better. Sorry, you guys. The beard will even be back. I mean, I just, I, the beard will come back. Relax, everybody. Let's take a deep breath. I'm going to get F5 in and then I have Connect 4. So I win because I'm the greatest Connect 4 player ever. Way better than Rajon Rondo, of course. Okay, game aborted. Uh, next game. Okay, let's play e4, knight c3. Okay, playing grandmaster. 2B! Grandmaster 2B, so he's not a Grandmaster. Let's play Bishop C4 and F5, probably. Oh, and of course, right on cue, after we're all like, after we're all yapping about Misha Tal for the last like half hour, sure enough, I'm playing a guy with a, with a, uh, with a picture of Misha Tal. Obviously, obviously. Like, obviously. Let's just go Bishop G5. Play, <laughs> play Bishop H4 here. Go bishop g3. A6. Um, do we want to have fun here or do we want to go for the, the, the murder death kill? Do we want to have fun? Actually, I can't have fun. I wanted to take and... Man, he's begging me to sack, sack on g5. He's really begging me. He's like, he's like trying to egg me on. But... I don't quite see it working, so I'm just gonna just play solid. Oh, I gave him g4. 
Okay, it doesn't do it, so... Um, let's go... Hmm... Let's go knight c4, I guess. I don't really like my position here. I'm gonna play h3. He's gotta take. Actually, do I have a knight e4? Do we get to have fun? Yeah, let's have some fun, you guys. Let's have some fun! It's fun time! So, bishop d1. Oh, no. Oh, he missed it. He had rook f1 first. Never mind. But we still get to have some fun. He missed it. Rook f1 first, and we don't get to have fun, but he missed it. So now we get to have fun. We've got a rook and a piece for the queen. Now we get, like, rook f7. My knight's golden here. Um, do I want knight e5 or not? Or, yeah, let's just go knight e5. He's getting... He's, this is going to be a murder-death kill on the f-file. Um, fun, fun time equals win probability of 20%. That's pretty funny. Let's go bishop d5, hit the knight on c6. Legendary Lama HS says, wow, you're weird with no beard. Um, Let's gobble gobble on c6. Sculpt says, shout out demolition man. Absolutely, absolutely, a, a murder death kill. Let's go bishop d7, hit the rook, bishop f5 is coming. Um, I like my position here. Yeah, Rook F1 check just wins almost. I mean, it's very just dis dis disturbing, but yeah. Okay, now we're gonna we're gonna have even more fun, you guys. I'm gonna sack a Rook for the Bishop, so we have three pieces. Uh, you look fine with no beard. Not sure why they're being uh, being what live something. Sam D Grinder, much appreciated. You played super bad today. Always appreciated, Sam D Grinder. I, I mean, I appreciate it that you 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 uh, you really you really don't like my play today. It's it's always nice. Thank you so much. That's the Best compliment I've heard all day. Let's just take... Oh, no. And I just blundered again. Because he's got rookie... Se oh, no. I've got knight g6. Uh, I was, I'm trying to be cute with three pieces. Um, okay, we'll take first. This is number one. Okay, I've got knight e7 still. But, eh. It's a bit ugly. Queen e3. King h2. King h1 takes... Hmm. Okay, again, I'm I'm like using way too much time. I just gotta move. Let's make a check in Rook A7. Um, uh, somebody donated some bits, I think. Uh, thank you, Swim19, for uh, gifting a tier one sub uh, to Sam D. Grinder. Thank you so much. Okay, King F8. Yeah, I mean, I've made a mess out of this. I have absolutely made a complete hash. Um, what am I doing? Oh, and I'm down on time again. I'm, I, why am I always down on time today? Like, I'm down in every single game today. What am I doing? Let's have more fun. I'm just going to sack more material. I don't even know why I'm doing this, but I am doing it. Two bishops. Got two bishops here. Let's go bishop g3. Maybe b4 was better there, but whatever. Okay, play h4, try to activate my bishops. Go e5, e6 here. King h2, I've got bishop h3. Primo b6 here. way too slow today. I'm just so slow. I don't know what's wrong with me. Did I get E7? Okay. Oh! Boom! Oh, boom goes the dynamite, my friend. Boom goes the dynamite. C6, D5. Let's take and play Knight F6. 
Someone says, I prefer he card the five o'clock shadows, which is a really short beard. Okay, let's play bishop f5. Yeah. Let's go e6, bishop g6. Play queen a5. Knight b6, knight d5. Okay, let's uh, just let's play knight d5 here. Hit the bishop. Bishop d2. Maybe knight b4 is playable here. Challenge Eric. No, we're on a speed run, you guys. So not not today. Let's play bishop b4. C3. I'll just play like bishop d6 or e7 and follow it up with knight b4 again at the end. Ikari switched beards with Magnus. Yeah, funny. G4, okay. Um, I want to do something here, I guess. Let's just offer a queen trade. I don't know if it's good, but let's do it. We'll just castle here. Um, maybe rook h3 here. Put pressure on the knight. Put pressure on the bishop. Now I can maybe play knight d5. How long have I been growing out the beard for? I've been growing out this... Oh, you mean the beard that I just shaved? Sorry. Oh, you don't mean this this beard that I have right now. I was about to say, like, I haven't been growing this beard out very long. But, I mean, anyway. Let's just play f5 here. Take gf5. Try a reverse mohawk like a man. Reverse mohawk. I don't actually know what that is. Um, play bishop d6. Hit the, hit the queen. Uh, let's go bishop c7. Avoid c5 ideas right now. No issues. Um, the count, no, 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 you, you're thinking about the bullet. At bullet, yes, at, at the bullet, I was 2562. At bullet, I was 2562, but we completed the bullet rush, so, uh, we're starting the new rush. The new, uh, the, the new, the new, the new jazz. Uh, queen is good. Let's play b5, try to soften up this pawn structure here. It was at bullet, you guys, not at bullet. Okay, I've got b4 here, I've got knight f6. Let's just chuck a pawn, play for activity here. Um, and knight of six point here being that I've got access. Um, and also I've got 95. His pawns are pretty ugly too. So we just trade, we just trade. And the point with this is that now I go rook d4 and I, his structure is just really, really in tatters here. Rook h4 is coming. Um, and this just game over pretty much. Just take and rook h2. My heart is in Havana. Play f4, f3. Knight f6, knight g4, knight e4. He covers the e4 square, but now he loses the pawn. Oh, but he's still got king e4 here, I guess. So, okay, whatever. So we trade. Um, Not so easy to win. He won, but now I just take a2. Uh, check. G G O G A G. Go again. All is in the banner. 